Jeffrey fails, but Jeffrey fails the test. Men should be more feminine. Uh, look, look, girls, I'm a pussy too. Masculinity is so toxic. Y you're a white male. Jeffrey doesn't understand why he's acting like this. He doesn't want to be feminine, but it might get him laid, and so he continues. But it backfires. When I was younger, I felt directionless. Should I try to act like the alpha male or should I be like the, the pretty fuckboy? Or should I try to be her friend first and then maybe I can get laid? I didn't have a clue what my authentic personality was. And so I would shapeshift to try to fit in wherever I went. But just like Jeffrey, I didn't understand that this would only make me less attractive than remaining authentic. Adonis. Adonis doesn't fall for the puny women's shit tests. He never has to change his personality because he would rather only be accepted by the people who genuinely compliment him. And so Adonis remains masculine and assertive, staying authentic to himself. And that makes him liked more than ever. Don't, don't do it bro, it's a trap. When they say men should be more feminine, they aren't saying to, you know, express your real authentic energy, which all of us do have. They're saying to push out something that you weren't originally going to do, which almost shows weakness, so that they can judge you by that and treat you worse. I have a fair amount of feminine traits and values. I'm very, very empathetic, sentimental. I love talking to people and like love in relationships means more to me than pretty much everything else. That makes me quite like a feminine man. And it, it can be a little bit confusing because you might look at me and be better. But wait, Hamza, you, you've got muscle. That means you're, you're, you're dominant and you're, you're leading this. No, no, no. You can have masculine traits like discipline, willpower, leadership. But then you can also have feminine traits and these don't exactly take away from how masculine you are. It's like, imagine how masculine you are is like zero to 100, how feminine you are is like zero to 100. If someone is just 100% masculine and zero feminine, that's like quite like a weirdly like uber masculine type of guy. And that's like, you know, like a, generally it might be someone who's a quite aggressive and quite like hostile and everything. I'm probably, if I had to guess, 60, maybe 80% masculine, 20, maybe 30, maybe 40% feminine. And that's, it's, it's honestly a good thing. The reason why I've made this business is because of empathy, because I can essentially feel the pain of some younger guys. I can like recount that pain and think, okay, what would I do to solve this pain? Well, here's the advice for you boys. And so I make the videos, you watch the videos and now I'm making more money than ever. And that fulfills a masculine sense. So you can see that like, just because you have like a feminine trait does not mean it's a bad thing. Now, the issue that we see in the modern world around us is that people are telling you to be more feminine. Not that, okay, you've got these feminine traits and you know, that's good for you. They're saying, okay, be more, act more of a Act more of like, a, you know, show, show extra vulnerability that you weren't authentically going to do. I'm an open person, so I will show levels of vulnerability and I will open up no problem. But for me to listen to this advice of be more feminine, I would do it to an extent that I wasn't originally going to do. And that's where the issue comes. Because then you're not authentic. Then you're faking it to get liked by someone else. And that makes you ugly. This statement that these like blue hair Twitter girls that like to say like, men should be more feminine. They're, 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 they're toxic masculinity. Like all this bullshit, bro. They don't care about your authentic self. They're saying it almost as a way to be like superior and in control of you. Think about what, because what, what, what is it? It's pressure. It's pressure to be someone that you're not. They want us to disown parts of our manhood and replace them with their idea of femininity. And it's very interesting because usually the people who say this statement of men should be more feminine, usually those girls who say this are way more masculine anyway. And they want you to be less masculine. Very interesting, isn't it? And so if it's who you truly are, if you are someone who truly does have like some feminine traits, like I do 100% I'll do, I'll, like, I'll say like it's who I am. So show that to the world. Be confident of it 100%, that's awesome. Because you can, you can do it in a way that like, as I said with this business, fuels this fucking masculinity. But do that for yourself, not for them. Because what they don't tell you is that women generally are less sexually interested in feminine men. You hear so many stories of men falling for this trap, of men being told like, you know, they can open up, they can speak to their, their partners about everything. So the man does, his father dies. You know, he cries, he expresses vulnerability, he shows weakness, he, he clutches onto his girlfriend. And you hear the first accounts from the girls say this, right? This isn't, you know, our men, like we're sat here, like hating on the girls. This is the girl saying it, where you can see this, like this type of shit online on Reddit. And the girls will come in and say, yeah, like he cried. And I'm not going to lie, even though he, he cried about his mother being brutally killed or some bullshit. Like the, the woman says, yeah, like I don't respect him anymore. I just, I, I'm just repulsed by him now. And that's just women. The truth is, as men, we have like this masculinity hierarchy where you get placed in this like ladder of like how much of a man you are compared to everyone else around you. Jeffrey is down here, Adonis is up here. We judge each other on our masculinity, our strength, our accomplishments and our personality. And so if you show a lack of that masculinity, strength and accomplishments because of extra femininity, then you'll be moved down the ladder. 
And so you'll get treated worse, you'll get laughed at more, you get made fun of, the girls will be less interested in you. And that, that's how it works for most people. Like most people will judge you negatively the lower in this social hierarchy ladder you are. It takes a very special type of person to like see a level of weakness inside, weakness or you know whatever you want to, feminine traits if you want to say it, and not judge you for it. That's like a therapist, for example. This is a test that a lot of men are failing because of this idea of like, we haven't been brought up by strong masculine fathers. We've been brought up by women who have told us, okay, masculinity bad, femininity good. Express your emotions and, and stop playing, stop being rough and tumble, you know, stop like fighting your brother and stuff and go sit there and like be feminine. Sit there in, like, in the education system for 18 years and act in and learn in a feminine way. It's like a test to see which men are weak enough to fall for it to show their feminine side. Those men are put in the friend zone. And being more feminine literally makes you unneeded. If you want to be in a relationship, if you want to date, or if you want to even just sleep with a girl, you literally become unneeded the more feminine you are because she's feminine. Like, she has a pussy, she doesn't want another one for her boyfriend. We heard, like, men should show their feminine side and we believed it. Men, men cry! Like, yeah, we, we do cry, bitch, but like not in front of you because you'll stop sleeping with us if we do. And it's so important to live your life with your authentic personality. And of course, you can improve your personality, you can alter it, but if you live aligned with your real personality, your real values, you end up like, you know, being one of those weirdly, like very fulfilled, very happy people. Whereas this person who's, for example, acting way more masculine than he truly is, or the person acting way more feminine than he truly is, those people just suffer some huge mental problems because of in inauthenticity. You can't like yourself if you don't allow yourself to be yourself. This is why, for example, it's so hard for a lot of young people who've got like controlling parents to live quite authentically and to live like with an honest sort of like nice way because their parents have controlled their values it's like you no no son you you study hard the son wants to be like a musician but his dad wants him to be a doctor now the son has to adopt his parents values instead and when you live in authenticity in authenticity when you live in authentic someone say it for me sam you say it bro sam isn't really editing this video but in authenticity it's really worth to give this some intention like who are you really how how masculine are you really and don't don't be a little spur bro don't be like yes how's there? i'm very masculine please please like me no like you can it's okay to not be ultra masculine like it's okay to have the feminine traits i wish that someone told me this when i was younger like i've always been i've always had way more feminine traits than like the average guy i've been way more empathetic than the average <laughs> How masculine are you? How feminine are you? And don't just be a little little red pillar. Uh, I'm, I'm very masculine. <laughs> I'm, I'm not feminine at all. Like, shut up. It's important that you understand that your best life will come from living as authentic as the real you and not just faking it because everyone's convinced you. Okay, be, be more masculine or be more feminine. You should strive, absolutely strive to improve and increase your masculine traits and values, your commitment to your work your discipline 100 that's that's fantastic but faking it if your real masculinity is here and you're acting like it's here you live like this weird life where you're just constantly just like overthinking and you feel really insecure a simple and a fun way of just finding out what your real personality is like is just taking one of these like online questionnaires like i'll link the one that i've just used and i got this score of like being casually masculine and the test of course isn't going to be like scientifically or some it's always like someone who comes in and is like oh but uh, the, the, the the research doesn't support one of these tests like, shut the Bro, it's just to get an idea, man, come on. It's nice to just take the test and to just like see roughly where you're at and it doesn't have to be like completely scientifically accurate like a lot of these editors will tell you. But this test that I've linked in the description seems okay. I'll have a picture of what I scored up on the screen. It's casually masculine and I had like a fair amount of the feminine traits as I, as I thought I would do. Don't be upset or lie about like these feminine traits. Like whatever's authentic, whatever's real, that's who you are so that if you can have confidence for that, that's amazing. Just don't add on extra feminine traits because women are telling you to. Because it's just a test and you're literally just failing that test by saying, oh, I'll, I'll listen to you instead of my real personality. And then you're ugly, then you're, you're, you're just faking it. When you live aligned to your, like, your real personality, your real traits, and you figure out your values, you, you just glide through life in such a nice, like peaceful, fulfilling way. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.